heading over to Hugs and Mugs. And then in a couple hours, we are going to the springs. I think it's called the Salt Springs. No, it's not called that. Anyways, it's going to be a busy day. I'm also going to interview a lady in a... I think she's in a high top van. She's 81 years old, guys, and she is remarkable. So you're not gonna wanna miss that. But in the meantime, we're headed to the springs today. This is the Solos Birds of a Feather Escapees group. I've done a couple videos now of our days here and today's a big day. Hope you'll join Here's us. Here's Serene and Simple Life. This is our circle. We had a nice big fire here last night. I'm heading over into the pick and shed now for morning. Live in the moment, hugs and mugs. There's always all kinds of sweet snacks that I can't say no to. But we'll get back on track when I get back to my cottage, hopefully. Look at this day, guys. Yeah, not gonna video when I first come in there in the morning. No. And uh, yeah, it's just a little nippy to be sitting outside. Not too bad, it keeps warming up every day. Thanks for driving, Linda. You're welcome. Wow, Madison Blue State Park, we made it, guys. Linda here, Serene and Simple Life. We've got a park pass for up to eight people. How cool is that? Doesn't look like anybody's in here. Nobody's in here, so we don't even have to worry. We can use the pass again somewhere else. <laughs> and we're on to see the springs. Oh, it says at $5 now, huh? Per vehicle. Up to oh, scan it. So just driving in now, it is quite the treat to be with a couple people. We've got Steven in the back. Hello. All right, let's see here. Hey, Stephen, how's it going? Hey, morning, going you're, great. Yeah, and so you're in the you're a backseat driver. Not really. You've been pretty quiet. Well, yeah, sometimes the backseat. So, yeah. Hear me. Okay. Uh, no, I mean, but you weren't being a backseat driver though. You weren't telling Linda how to do. Uh, no, 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 no. No. No, that's not your gig. No. I'm <laughs> uh, fine with being chauffeured. Oh, okay. And you're a newbie to the road, right? That's correct. Awesome. Awesome. Correct. Walking, walking. Walking, walking. Here we go. Yeah, I think there's, we've all followed one another, about four of us. Four cars, Kathy and Naomi over there. We've got Steven here. It's all brand new to all of us, except for one lady who said, like, this is supposed to be the number one. Oh, let me check out over here. Voted best swimming hole in America, Madison Blue State Park. So there you got it, guys. We're not going swimming today, but we are going to see the Madison Blue Spring and the Spring Overlook. This is fun. Well, everything we do is fun. I remember being at a spring with Kimberly. Oh my gosh, Kimberly, if you're watching, hello. I know how much you love the springs. Here's the, the overlook. Somebody out there in a kayak. We can get a little bit closer now. Fun times. Oh my gosh. If I just be quiet, we can hear the Beautiful nature noises. There's our group down there, and right here, there's Kathy. Hope to interview her later. She's 81 and living life large, right, Kathy? This will be totally different. Well, I stayed at, um, okay. Here we go, guys. Alligators present along the trails and waterways of this park. They usually eat fish, turtles, and other small animals. Well, may attack larger animals such as deer. Alligators have been known to attack humans. All right. They're dangerous. Don't swim with them. <laughs> 
Do not approach, frighten, or feed by state law. Gotcha. I think I will pay attention to that sign. No rule breaking on that one. Fun times. Oh my gosh. We got some deep divers there. Maybe 50 feet. Maybe 50 feet. 50 feet deep, but miles long. Miles long. And then there's a spring down near Mayo that is that more. Well, there's one right here on the river. Here and see what we can see. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sometimes this beauty just overwhelms me. How about you? Are you getting motivated to go see Do? Just drive in here. It was free. Nobody at the gate. And if we see an alligator, that would even, even be more exciting. Such gorgeous beauty. Now there is a spring close to where we're staying, but the spring is not much, but there's an old bathhouse there. So we have a lady here that has worked for the state parks. I think that's something that she volunteers, probably for a site. She's been doing that for, I don't know, I think five years or so. I wonder, look how far that goes out there. Wow. Will you do it? One of the kayakers is from our group here. I guess maybe we'll see you at the camp. Maybe both of them, I don't know. A protected environmentally sensitive area disturbance by humans or pets is prohibited. Gotcha. And right up there is the water. Go around to the other side now here. Maybe we'll see an alligator. <laughs> I'm kind of hoping not on the trail. I don't know what I would do. Um, freak out, freeze, run. What would you do if you saw an alligator? I don't have any protection here with me. <laughs> but now you're getting another vantage, another vantage point here. And there's the scuba divers. I wonder what they're going to be looking for or seeing. Fish? Alligators? I don't know. What do you think? I got a lot of common sense in some areas, and in other areas, I have no common sense. <laughs> when it comes to geography and Pressures are good, they said. All right. Just a sport? They're out having fun? Or are they doing something with the park system? I don't know. But I think we'll pay attention going down these steps here. Divers. They're probably divers, right? Scuba divers? Yes. 
got some cool information. What were you saying? Well, th this is called Madison Blue Springs, and it's not blue today because the river level on the Withlacoochee River right out at the mouth of this is high. So when the river is high, the river water overtakes the spring and it mixes the river water in with the blue spring. When the river level is at a normal level, the spring flow is enough to keep the river out and keeps it flowing. So you can see the Karts topography, you can see the limestone, you can see where the water is coming out of the ground because this little head spring here is feeding the Withlacoochee. There are many springs on the Withlacoochee that do this. So unfortunately today we can't see all that because the river's too high. Wow, thank you for that. Cause I, you just said that so smoothly, I could not have done that. <laughs> And what are these guys, the scuba divers doing? I was just they walking going, around. They are going cave diving. They are going into the cave where the water is coming from. They are going underneath the ground. Are they doing this as a sport or are they part of like an environmental? No, they're a sport. They're the, sport divers. Sp yeah, oh. I noticed their car up front there. Some of them are from Canada. Very cool. This area of the Withlacoochee and where it comes into the Suwannee, lots of springs and it's a very active cave system. So there's many, many springs that allow diving. I had no idea. And much more interesting listening to you than reading a history book or <laughs> Google. So thank you for making this so much more interesting today and for bringing us here. My pleasure. I just wish it was clear. There's the divers there, with I the think, bubbles. I think they're going underground there because I haven't seen any other bubbles. I think they're actually going into the cave system there. Wow. There they are, underneath. Whereabouts in the Panhandle? No, in Mayo, a little bit south. That's so cool. Cypress that tree. Cedar. Right, they're cypress. They're. Your, I don't know. They cypress or cedars? I think they're cypress. Okay, they're probably they're cypress. 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 And cypress what were you gonna? What were you saying about the trees? Well, the trees in the middle of the water. Like there. there are some cedar trees here, but there are also cypress. These are probably yeah. cypress. And that's what makes the water dark brown. That's what puts the tannin in the water. So all these trees lining all the rivers in north, north central Florida are what makes these, these rivers so brown. So it's not dirty, it's called tannin, just like tea. Awesome. So. Thank you. A wealth of knowledge, you could be a tour guide. Well, I enjoy learning about things that I live near. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm not a person that just goes somewhere and says, oh, that's cool. Yes. It's called uh, 13 lives. But then you have recall too. Sometimes I learn something and then I don't have the recall. So that's really nice. This beautiful, beautiful live oak. And Dee was just sharing with us that when Florida was being settled, many ships were made out of these trees because of the natural curves. They are so so majestic wow i said this is called a live oak because they don't drop their leaves all at one time they're constantly losing leaves but they're staying live too wow she just commented that she likes to you know know about where she lives and things around her my problem sometimes is recall, you know? But when you hear it from somebody else, I have an easier time recalling than just reading some kind of board. What do you guys think? How's your recall? <laughs> wow. Look up for springs. Florida boasts having over a thousand springs. Although plentiful, each spring system is unique and needs your help. Erosion, trampled vegetation, invasive plants. Wow. Brooks may babble, yet springs cannot speak. How will you be the voice of Florida's springs? There they go. Blessings in your day and joy in your journey.